All right, hello there, and welcome once again to uh, one of my shitty little Let's Plays that I throw together in five minutes. Today, we are playing Chariot. Um, this is a, you know, one of those tiny little Kaspla indie games that um, does the YouTube rounds, and I figure, hey, it's you're, you're cool, you're good enough to give this a go. Um, I've already um, played the first two levels. Uh, this is level three, and yeah, it looks like we're starting from a checkpoint here. Um, so yeah, for, the, oh, oh, for those of you unfamiliar with the game, um, I am a princess. This is a king in here, uh, in a coffin. He died. And uh, it's my job as, you know, someone. I'm assuming I'm this king's daughter, but I don't know that. I might be a princess from a different kingdom. Um, to deliver his coffin to the royal sepulchre. And, uh, yeah, I knew how to pronounce that word before this game started. So, uh, you know, shut up. But, uh, yeah, it's an interesting little platformer. Um, not very much puzzle solving as of yet, but uh, there might be coming. there might be some coming soon, because uh, this level introduces uh, ghost rails. Oh, a little bit of a strange physics there. I'll just, you know, I'll just let it roll. How about that? Um, introduces ghost rails, which uh, look like one of the first puzzle-solving elements. Ooh, what is that? Alright, cool. Now we've got Ah, uh, the king is, you know, dead, but he's a ghost, so he still talks to us. Uh, oh. What's going on there? You, a weird tutorial thing. Put, put that on the crate. Put it in the... In the thresher, I guess, that thing is. Do not flip the cart. Now, normally, this cart's like... One of those, uh, crazy remote control cars that can go any... No, 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 no! Ooh. Get that to calm down. Alright. Now, what's what's this do? This is the thing we're supposed to get it to, I guess. Ah! Ooh, and it shut something out. Ah! A blueprint or a parcel or something. Um, yeah, we can traverse the cart in a number of ways. Right now it's mainly just pushing and pulling with the rope. Um, you as you jump, you let the rope out, and um, you have a, a pleasantly lofty jump. And I kind of like the uh, the jump physics in this a little bit. Um, and you can reel the rope back in, um, but you can see I'm sort of getting pulled towards the cart as much as the cart's getting pulled towards me. Um, but if you hang on, I'll just yeah, use, uh, if you crouch down beforehand, you sort of anchor yourself. And uh, then you've got a nice short rope there. I think pushing is faster than pulling. I'm just I'm still figuring all of this out. I've only been playing this for like 10 minutes. Oop, down the hill. Bonk. Yeah, there's a lot of little things I don't understand. Like that clonky shock. I don't know what that means. Um, occasionally the coffin vibrates. Um, f uh, just on its own. And I'm assuming that means, that, ooh, there might be a secret nearby or something like that. But I haven't figured any of that out yet. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty... So far it's a... It's... A pretty game, um, and the the platforming is uh, fun in that, like, you know, it's not just you jumping around. Obviously, you're dragging this chariot, which is new enough to be interesting um, so far. But I have to be honest, um, I was expecting a little bit more puzzle solvey stuff um, rather than just platformy stuff um, so far. Oh, what's that plus ten for? I guess I got some loot. Yeah, those... Ah, here we go. Here's a ghost rail. So, like, I can jump up here and and uh, do that, right? The the chariot walks along it, but um, I go straight through. And so I imagine there are going to be some points where I have to, like, hang from the, the chariot. The rope is also solid, right? So I can't... Like, you can see the rope is sliding over the edge there. So I can't go under while the chariot goes over. I'm going to pull myself in a little bit here. Yep. Whee! 
This is kind of fun. Oop, bonk. Now, um, it looks like I'm I'm just going to drop here and go around. I think it's going to be the easiest way to take care of that. Oop, oop, hit. She makes quite an audible um, sound when she uh, jumps, and I haven't decided if it's going to get annoying or not. <laughs> Um, so far it's okay, but I might, uh, I might find myself turning down her, her voice audio later on. Those little, uh, signs with the stars on them indicate, um, like, the alternate path for loot. And I kind of like the fact that the game tells you, um, which, the, which is the alternate path, because we all know that every time you see two paths, you try and pick the one that's the least, um that looks the least like it's the way you're meant to go. And uh, if we go a little bit down it and realize, oh no, wait, this is the real way we're meant to go, <laughs> then, we, then we all go back and we all loot it. So I'm glad that this at least saves us some time and lets you actually make a choice as to whether you want to be an explorer or the looter rather than actually um, uh, making you kind of blindly pick and uh, hope it's the path that aligns with your style of play. Yeah, I really like the aesthetics in this. Um, it's very um, pleasant. Like, she's kind of got a little bit of a, a Dora the Explorer kind of look to her. She's the default character, by the way. But um, in the menus, you can switch to her fiancé. Um, and from just, like, the... Like, it's, you can probably see in the bottom right there, there's a Player 2 um, icon there. And so this is uh, designed with local co-op in mind. But, um... Other than like those little that little area up top, you probably saw the other uh, blue two-player sign. Um, I'll point out another one if we see another one. Uh, all of these puzzles are clearly solvable just on your own. I say puzzles because, like I said, it's mainly platforming. Like this feels a lot like it's cool to play with um, two players, but it feels a lot like it's um, one player playing and the other one following them around. Um, Still, I really... We need more games that have local co-op. They go... Oh, oh! Aha! Here we go. This looks like a puzzle. This is all the closest we've come so far. So what I have to do here... Is... Come on, up you get. Um, do, do one of these. Yeah, there we go. Physics. Oh, man. Can I, can I rope that from here? I can, thank Christ. That would have been a real pain in the ass if I couldn't. Um, you probably have also noticed that uh, only the chariot picks up these gems. Uh, one of the king's requests is that uh, he be taken to a, a sepulchre befitting his royal majesty, and it be uh, suitably full of uh, treasury loot. Um, the, uh, br br the gems uh, can only be picked up by the... Um, the chariot itself, which uh, is awesome, I think. I think it's like, if you're going to have this as your central mechanic, make it as central as possible. You know, never let it, like, it's not about letting us forget, but it's it's clearly the focus is on the chariot and not on the um, the player in terms of aerobic manipulation. Now, this looks like it might be a two-player thing, but I do have this magic peg, right? Um, which is, uh, you get these gadgets, yeah, I've, I've only unlocked, un unlocked one, but if I go clonk, the peg is holding the charity in place, and the dude who sold it to me said I could do this. Yeah! Look at that, that's pretty rad. Oh, it broke, it broke! Those little things in there, they're uh, a new thing for this level. I've yet to actually interact with them. I've only ever seen them in holes that I can't get to. But there are looters, and they're after the loot in the um, in the crate. And uh, I'm sure they'll be, because I've figured out just through button mashing that I got myself one of these ones. Um, so yeah, there's, un there's undoubtedly going to be a little tutorial later on where they're like, Press X to do your only sword swinging animation. Although, actually, there might be more to it than that. Oh! Yeah, sometimes physics gets a little bit weird, but um, in a fun way. Oh, and up you come. Up you come. Reel him on in. Yeah, when you reel, like, you get a lot of 
momentum behind the cart and something just goes clean over your head. It's a bit of a pain. Now that star there doesn't necessarily mean two players, I think. I think it just means um, loot in this in this direction. And um, the two stars might mean uh, might be a difficulty rating, um, or it could be uh, like a, a reward level, if that makes sense. Like the amount of loot I can expect. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know. Okay, so that that sucks because oh, that's on a timer. The peg's on a timer, right? Um, so I've got to be a little bit. Um, smarter about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this out. Oop, don't don't fall, lady. I don't know if you can reel because you can reel the rope in, but I I haven't figured out a way that you can reel it out. I'm not sure there I'm not sure there is one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Now I got to do one of these. Anchor. Anchor. Wait for the peg to die. Although I can probably yeah, no I can trigger that early with Y. Loot! Glorious loot! Okay. How are we going to do this? Oh, this is just like what we did before. I was going to hang, but it looks like... No! No, 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 don't, 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 no, 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 Oh, oh! Yay! Everything worked out okay there. I was certain I was going to fall to my death. Not to my death, I'm not even sure you can die in this game, but... I was certain it was all over. I thought the fat lady had s had sung, sang, sung. Right? It's sung. Yeah. I when it's not. Whenever I'm confused about that, like, um, ring, and whether it's rang or rung, I always default to the ung because of the way people say. Brang, and I know people say brung too, but 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 the A just sounds more wrong to me. Um, in that situation, though, with ring, I think it is rang. Um, rung is the thing on a ladder, <laughs> which I'm sure everybody knows. Hurt, huh? hurt. Huh? Of course, I could. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Who did it? Ninja. I didn't even know that was coming. I thought we were just going to get carried lightly along. So those skulls are some kind of secret. So he panics every time, but so far these guys haven't even been able to get to us. Um, those skulls are like some kind of secret, and I don't know what they do. Um, some of them have crowns, some of them don't. Oh, seriously? You're going to make me do this? If you get too far away from the cart, um, something happens. I actually know what. Let's find out. I guess I'm not far enough away. I'm going to run over this way. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bonk! The chariot was lost. We go back to the last checkpoint, which is right next to where I was standing anyway. Oh, hang on. Whoa, did I just lose money? Really hope not. I need that treasure. Um, a lot of people often say... Um, uh, you know, about about video games. Like, when there are collectibles and things. Like, oh yeah, but what's the point? Like, those skulls. I have no idea what the point of those skulls is in, in a mechanical sense. Um, but I always find that to be a very funny question. Because it's like, oh, you know, why why even bother getting the, the skulls? What's the point? It's like, well, what's the point defeating a made-up alien boss? It's, it's a... It's for fun, is the point. <laughs> like, it's just, as, just a, 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 as arbitrary a goal as anything else you do in video games. Like, you don't need a cosmetic skin pack to make collectibles um, valuable. And I think we're past that attitude in a lot of ways. Like, when there were, like, achievements and stuff first came in, and everybody was all like, yeah, but what's the reward? What's the weapon power-up I get for... I don't know if I can even get up there. For, for doing this additional task. I'm glad to see that we're seeing a, a lot more games that are just like... No, I'd say a lot more. We're getting back to that whole... It's a goal because it's a goal, and you can be proud of doing it, or having had fun while doing it. Uh. 
Yes. Oh, no, the chariot. No, no. Oh, damn it. All right, hang on. I'm going to go back to the checkpoint. Because I'm clearly supposed... No, hang on. There's, there's gems up there. I need the chariot. To get the gems. It's really hard to break myself from that expectation that I, as of the player character, can just pick up the gems. I actually need the cart with me wherever I go. The money, you use that to buy upgrades. Like, the peg upgrade cost 500 and I already have 2000 after having spent that 500 Like, it was less than a, th um, a third of my money to get that first um, bonus. If you hold A, this is a, a nice little feature, if you hold A, um, it, like for as long as you're holding A, it unravels the rope as you jump. So I'm playing on a 360 controller, this is on the PC though. Um, got it on a Steam sale, because, you know, how else would I have gotten it? Um, yeah, so I'm using, it's A to jump, but if you tap it, you do a little short jump, but for as long as you're holding it, you unravel the the cord so that the chariot doesn't weigh down your jump, which is a clever um, design choice. Because that would be incredibly frustrating if you had to like manually control how much rope you had before every jump. Like that would make a lot of the reflex puzzles impossible. So like the only way I can figure to like when I'm in a situation like that where I'm trying to lower the, the cart, I just kind of jump to let the thing out. Because uh, it's left, it's right trigger to attach the rope to the cart, and it's the length that you are from it. Like, it makes it the shortest it needs to be. Yeah. If you hold left bumper while holding a rope, you reel in, right? But if, like, right bumper right now doesn't do anything, and it's, if, like, that would be the logical choice for reeling it out, if left bumper is reeling it in. Um, so... I've tried a few other buttons as well. B is to get back to checkpoints. You've probably seen that. And, um... Ooh. Ah! Ha-ha! It's left trigger! I figured it out. Just thought I'd try that. Just, I was like, oh wait, I, have, I haven't tried something. Look at him go! The king, I mean. I know that my player character's a, a lady. Look here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show off my new skill. Ah, oh, such a short rope. If only I could get to that last... Ah, oh, down it goes. Whoop, whoop! Nearly lost me. Now, this is clearly a... fun ride... section. Hit. Come on. Come... Ah. You have to give it, like, the tiniest little nudge. Because it's so easy for the thing to get away from you. Like, you can't keep up with it when it's rolling downhill. Ghost Rails! Whee. That was a bad example. Oh, bats. Okay, it's time for me to get my sword ready. Yeah, look, here we go. They're going to come out as soon as that goes in. Now, they haven't actually taught me how to fight yet. Ah, okay. Those big loot boxes are different from the little gems, I think. These little gems, let's see what they do here. Clonk, clonk, clonk. They give me like 10 each or something. I wasn't actually paying attention. Um, this one, oh, it, it gives me 100. It's just telling me that it's worth 100. It's just that, that different, like that different interface uh, element there. See, that's telling me like plus 160. See, I don't know where the 60 came from there. Was it from killing the looters? <laughs> come on. Up you come. Don't be shy. Bonk. Were those 10? Okay. We're at 29.20. Ah, chariot, why? Gravity, thou art a cruel mistress. I think I stole that from something. Probably Futurama, right? Seems like the... Yep, 
two twenty twenty nine thirty. But no, that that uh, gravity joke seems like the kind of thing that would be in I don't know Futurama or some other science fiction comedy. And this is what the endings look like. But hey, you know what I am? Incredibly smart. I noticed this alternate path. Now this might be a two-player... No, no, I can fit. I was going to say it might be a two-player challenge because I might not be able to cl clamber over the cart here and I clearly have to roll it. There we go. You can tell that um, you probably you guys have probably deduced by now, uh, this is where it gets tedious, um, that the anchor points for the rope are the axle of the cart. Oh! Ah, that's for 100%ing the map. See, this is annoying. Yeah, let's see if I can... Ah, fell down. Now I can't get the cart back. Are they going to make me go back to the last checkpoint? Ugh. That close from the ending, too. What a pain. No, I was saying that the uh, the anchor points for the cart are the wheels. And so in a two-player game, you've got two anchor points, right? And um, there are, like I said, there are the occasional um, puzzles that require two people. I like the way you kind of have to manipulate momentum. Um... Already, though, there are, it's kind of tedious in some ways, and I know that there's going to be a puzzle somewhere down the line that specifically requires you to do, like, a crazy cart fling or something like that, and it's going to take me, like, 600 tries, and the time I get it, it's just going to be luck. Now, I've got to be careful here, because... So if I jump here, yeah, there's no way I can make that jump from there. So how do I do that jump? It's confusing. I mean, if any any of you watching this are probably screaming at their screens, like, No, it's so obvious! You just need to peg there and then jump with this way, because the, the way you're jumping now, you're hitting the root, or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, the solutions are so obvious um, when you're not struggling with them. <laughs> Ah! Yeah. No, the the main thing I actually hate about... Oh! Careful, careful. Um, it took me a long time to get into uh, Let's Play videos. Because I just couldn't stand it when, like, the, the player would be spending 20 minutes searching for a key or uh, trying to figure out a, a control. And, um... Uh, 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 it's like really, it's like right in front of them. and <laughs> Really obvious. Roll over. There we go. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Okay, cool. See, we got that. That part we got down pat. Right? We got that part figured out. Do I maybe have to swing? What's, what's even over there? I really hope it's worth it after all of this effort. So, uh, yep, yeah, okay, there we go. Now, you are going to come up like that. Hmm, how clever am I? Ah, not clever enough. Fuck it. We tried. We tried, didn't we? 28 minutes. The last two levels took me like... 9. So this this is the uh, the main map here. That skeleton introduces himself. And he's funny. He's like American and enthusiastic and doesn't understand why people are afraid of him. This is the shop where you buy shit. And over here is the vault. And I don't know what this is. Here we go. Oh, these are just like achievements, I guess. Yeah. Obtain a gold medal in a speed run with no gadget equipped. Yeah. So hang on, this is where you buy gadgets. What are these? Find all blueprints of this to unlock it. Hang on. 
Is it just two rows of different items? Oh, those require two blueprints. Now that requires three blueprints. Oh, uh, maybe these are actives and these are passives. Or something like that. It's because the Royal Lantern. Lights up the darkness also comes with portable lights for two people. That might be passive, whereas these ones might be active. Of course, we'll find all of that out in the course of play. But I think we'll leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Um, it's been fun. Maybe we'll give us another one. Let's give this one another go. Uh, but if not, we'll have something new for you. Alright, have a good one.